Hi, we will have a discussion about estimation of oxygen by Alu's method. Normally, oxygen percentage of oxygen is simply calculated as 100 minus percentage of rest all elements. For example, carbon is present 40%, hydrogen is present 20%, nitrogen is present 10% like that. 40 plus 20 plus 10. 70 or so remaining 30 percent is oxygen so percentage of oxygen is equals to 100 minus rest elements but there is one other method we call this is i'll use method it's a simple method in this method what happens is organic compound which contains oxygen is heated in the presence of nitrogen so that all oxygen is released in the form of O2 along with other gaseous products. This is passed over hot coke so that it converts into carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide around temperature of 1100 degrees Celsius. This carbon monoxide further heated with I2O5 so that it turns into carbon dioxide. See interesting formula is here. Organic compound and heating in the presence of nitrogen whatever the oxygen is present in the organic compound that is converted into the form of oxygen gas which on reaction with the coke at high temperatures turns into carbon monoxide which is further converted to carbon dioxide by using i2o5 so along with co2 we can get here i2 so by the amount of iodine also you can calculate the amount of oxygen by using what is the amount of iodine for other purpose again you can use sodium thiosulfate for estimation of iodine so here what's happening you see carbon plus oxygen you are getting here carbon monoxide for this purpose you need a temperature of 1100 degree celsius see here carefully 32 gram of oxygen if you are taking you are getting there two moles of carbon monoxide this two moles of carbon monoxide will react with I2O5 to convert into 2CO2 okay actually this is not a balanced equation for this balanced purpose you can write this as here I am not writing 2 here also I am not writing 2 now you can see CO gives us I2O5 so here 5 oxygens are there let's take 5 CO it becomes 5 CO2 plus I2 this is for balancing purpose but use your common sense and say 5 CO is converted to 5 CO2 means 2 CO will be converted to 2 CO2 so O2 which is of 32 grams is converted to 2 moles of CO2 okay otherwise you can simply you can say this can be multiplied by 5 this can be multiplied by 2 as we are doing in stoichiometry I am saying in a simple sense you see 32 grams of oxygen converted to 2 moles of carbon monoxide 2 moles of carbon monoxide converted to 2 moles of carbon dioxide. So what I want to mention here is O2 which is of 32 grams converted to 2 carbon monoxide which is converted to 2 carbon dioxide. 2 moles of carbon dioxide we are getting. Okay. So this carbon dioxide is of 88 grams but in this how much of oxygen is present only 32 grams. 32 grams is of our organic compound not all because the remaining is coming from i2o5 so when you are writing the formula carefully we need to write how percentage of oxygen is equals to mass of co2 formed by mass of organic compound initially what we have taken into 32 by 88 into 100 Normally what we feel is carbon dioxide contains 32 gram that means 44 if it is the molecular mass 32 gram of oxygen is there. So 32 by 44 we expect here but 32 by 88 because first carbon is converted to carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is converted to carbon dioxide for this purpose if you are taking one oxygen you are getting here two oxygen so the second oxygen is not coming from the oxygen organic compound that is coming from the i2o5 so 
32 by 88 look at this carefully rest is safe